Hey everyone, and welcome to the 2016 Rockford Fosgate Product Showcase. We're coming to you from the Hard Rock Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, where we're basically displaying some of the hottest new products that Rockford is showing for 2016. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you and give you an inside look at some of those new products and what you can expect coming down the pipe from Rockford Fosgate for 2016. So let's go inside and see what we've got. Hey everyone, I'm here with Wayne from our new product development department and he's going to kind of walk us through some of the marine source units that we're introducing this year. Now, Wayne, last year we introduced a couple models of source units, the PMX-5 and the PMX-2, but this year we're actually bringing up two more, right? Yeah, we actually expanded the lineup. We um, expanded it with one lower unit, which is a PMX-0, which is adjacent basically a media unit that has Bluetooth and auxiliary input and basic controls. Okay. And we also are introducing a premium unit, um, the PMX-8BB and the PMX-8DH. Okay, so we've got the 8BB and the 8DH, so basically it's a two-part system. Um, so we've got the 8BB, which is the black box, so this piece is primarily meant as a hideaway unit, correct? Yes. Okay, and then we've got the display head, which kind of acts as the controller or command center to interface with. Yeah, that's right. And by separating the two, it, it uh, does a couple different things. Um, one of the biggest things is it allows us to shrink the screen uh, thickness down to about three quarters of an inch, so it allows for some different applications. Okay. Um, this unit also works with the three of the PMX-1R remotes or three of the PMX-0 remotes, but this unit, because it's at the top of the line, has more zone control than our previous units. The PMX-5 had two unit, or two zones of control. Uh, the PMX-8 has four zones of control with four uh, separate EQ zones. So on larger boats or boats where you need to have more volume control in different areas or you want to play a different source, that's where the PMX-8 is really going to come through. Okay, so obviously you've got a lot of, a lot of control with this unit. And obviously Obviously the expandability with multiple zone control, um, especially with you know being able to adjust kind of the, the sound uh, elements in each zone, obviously with the EQ and, and different crossover elements. And and as far as the inputs and outputs and, and kind of feature set, you know, what all what all did we pack into this guy? Um, we literally packed as much as we could into this guy. Um, there's two USB inputs on it. Uh, each zone has a front, rear, and as well as a stereo, it's actually mono, but a dual output sub control okay. um, independent on each zone. The other big thing is there's an auxiliary input um, on the back and a camera input. So you'll be able to trigger that camera input for a reverse camera or uh, any kind of camera you want to put around the boat, front, back, downstairs, wherever you want to be, okay. be able to pull it up and look. Very cool, very cool. So it's got video input, obviously, from camera. Could you use the video input for any other purposes? Um, yeah, actually, you could run a DVD player into it, for instance. Um, really, it's just all about being very universal and flexible with the PMX 8 BB, really, so that any application, there's a solution um, that it'll solve. Okay, okay, cool. So now, as far as our sources, uh, source capability, so I assume, obviously, AM and FM. Um, what else does it have? Yeah, we actually have a really good uh, tuner IC. Um, it does AM, FM, and weather band in it, so you do get the weather band as well. Perfect. Um, like I said, there's the auxiliary input. There's also a Sirius XM, uh, Bluetooth, and Pandora. And one of the nice things about Pandora is it comes with a Pandora uh, certification or license as well. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. So, obviously, it's very versatile. Yes. Uh, it can be used in a lot of different applications. Um, you know, nice big viewable screen, you know, Waterproof, I assume? Yeah, everything on um, that's a source unit or that'll see water is all IPX6 rated. So all the fronts, whether it's a remote or a display head, gets an IPX6 rating. The display boxes, or the black boxes, because they're usually tucked away, they, most of them get to put an IPX4 rating. Okay, and the nice big color display. Now, do we have to worry about you know fogging or anything of that nature happening to the display, making it hard to read? No, actually, um, we do a couple things that are a little different than other um, source unit manufacturers in order to get these to be waterproof. And one of the the big things is having a, a wet bonded or an epoxy uh, bonded screen that kind of eliminates any moisture from getting in there as well as where we join the clear plastic to the black plastic um, after it's been uh, assembled in the factory mm -hmm. it gets put into a ultrasonic or high frequency welder sorry and uh, two pieces actually become one piece making kind of like an impenetrable barrier okay so basically there's no way moisture or, or dust or anything is actually going to get no this. no that's one of the biggest things we test and designed for these 
All right, very cool. Well, obviously, as you can see, it's a very versatile unit. It's got a lot of functionality, a lot of feature set to it. Uh, ideal for a lot of different applications, not just the big boat guys or multi-zone guys. So, um, you know, Wayne, thank you for taking some time out of the day no to talk problem. to us about it. And we thank you for stopping by and watching the video. See you again. Thank you.